The View menu allows us to select additional modes, similar to the text menu icons available above the toolbar. A radiance mode has many selections. This is used primarily when you have a calibrated spectral radiometer and you wish to view absolute intensities in watts per square meter, microwatts per square centimeter, micromoles per meter per second, which is a photon dose rate, or lumens per square meter, otherwise known as lux, or foot candle. Additional functions allow setup for measuring radiant and luminous flux. By selection of the area of the cosine receptor or receptor attached such as an integrating sphere, we can compute the luminous flux by the software selection. The watt range setup for the flux measurement is selected here. This will automatically integrate over the range and it defaults from 400 to 700 nanometer. View channel allows us to select other spectrometer channels to be displayed on the graph. Additionally, multigraph allows us to display up to eight spectrometers on a single graph. Snapshot is similar to clicking the camera icon. Wave ratio allows us to select two wavelengths, such as in the measurement for DNA. I'll select 260 and it defaults to 280, which is the second wavelength. And then the ratio between those two wavelengths appear on the graph display as a continuous measurement. To disable this, we reselect the view menu and turn off the wave ratio function. This is quite useful for other types of ratio measurement. Now down in the view menu, additionally we have something called Y scale. This is the same as using the icon on the toolbar. Additionally, we can change the Y axis to become log scale. To undo the log scale, you'll have to select again the view Y scale and turn off as log. Additionally on the view menu, the zoom function. This allows a manual zoom similar to the selections that we were using automatically by dragging a box. Here we can precisely enter in the wavelengths, the starting wavelength and the ending wavelength range. In addition, it allows us to put in the y-axis. Graph Trace As allows us to run the system in overlay mode, for example. This is where the graph traces do not erase. This allows us to observe small changes in the spectrum. As with other view functions, we turn it off by reselecting the overlay function to be off. Another feature in the view menu for graph trace as is something we call fat line. Fat line allows a fatter display on the graph trace. Again, we can turn it off by reselecting it. Additionally, we have a another feature called View Graph Trace with Background. This allows us to enable grid lines and select other types of backgrounds as that you may wish to display on your graph. When you're in this mode with background, the fat 
line is automatically selected. Additional features for view graph trace are first and second derivatives. These are quite useful for processing absorption and transmission information for pattern recognition using chemometrics or neural network software packages.